So I just have one question for the guy that kept asking me to fart into a balloon and mail it to him earlier. Bro, what in the fuck is your address? <laughs> now that's a new path to retirement. People will really think you rich, but the truth is, I just ain't got no kids. <laughs> That's so badass. Now he gets to go tell everyone that he did it. Hell yeah. <sighs> Bad Baby shows how much she has earned from OnlyFans in 2021. What the fuck? 18 mil, 6 mil, 4. 18 million dollars in a motherfucking month, nigga? What? How is that even possible? Nigga, why are you paying for OnlyFans, bro? That just makes me mad, dude. Damn, that's so fucking crazy. That's so many simps making these little bobbleheads rich. It's an, it's incredible. You know, y'all really got to stop. I mean, I think the OnlyFans are like $20 a month maximum. That's so many people involved right there. It's out of control. What's your favorite part of my body? Do you want me to be honest? Yes. Your hair. Really? Yeah. Can I touch it? Sure. It's growing in nicely. <laughs> because what I've done instead is I've known early in a relationship red flags. I need to peace. But I'm such a goddamn people pleaser and I want everyone to be happy that I'm like, maybe there's some good in this girl. Maybe there's some good. So I'll stay. Right. And then I'll fall in love. I'll open my heart based off of a story because the person that I'm with doesn't even exist. And then three months, six months, a year later, she breaks up with me and I'm sitting here hurt over over something that I should have not even engaged with. And I just wasted a year of my life with this person. And now I have to think about you for the next couple of years. The thing about being a man is that we always know what we need to do and then we oftentimes fight it and it could be at the detriment of our future, the lifestyle that we're really meant to have. You know, in my life recently, I got real honest with myself about being where I want to be successfully and, uh, you know, when you take full accountability and responsibility for your life and you stop with the excuses and you do what you know you should have done the whole time. It really feels like you're on the right track. It really takes away some of those bad feelings. So, uh, you know, relationships, you know, distractions, all these different things, they're holding you back from what you're, from your true potential. It's important to identify them early and do what you know you need to do as a man. All right, guys, we have the Patreon. Please support the channel and come join us. I post different links about books, about mindset and business and educational things that are helpful. We also have a chat. If you want to get a hold of me, you have to be a paid Patreon member. In addition to that, we also have the mug store. And all the mugs in the mug store have free shipping right now, except for the black ones, because for some reason they're really expensive. And we also have the merch store. So if any of, the, of that sounds of interest, please check it out and give us some support. If you would, all the links are in the description.
Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> I don't know why, but I had way too much fun with that one. Uh, hello? Yeah, no, I wanted to know what your hours of operations is. No, because it seems like every time I try to come inside there, it's always closed. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I need to know what your hours of operations are. So I could be there on time. Yeah. Okay. I, I need to talk to the owner. Um, excuse me, uh, what's your hours of operations? At any time. You're goddamn right. <laughs>
tears. <laughs> and whose fault is that? I went on a first date. And when I opened the door, my man was at my front door. And I was like, oh, like, right? <laughs> and then he hit me with the Rico. He pulled the flowers out. And I was like, wow, this is different, right? So I'm not even paying attention. I brush past this trying to walk down the steps and get to the door, right? Because I'm not paying attention. I'm just so not used to it. And it just hasn't, like, I just didn't have a lot of practice. He opened my car door. I get inside. He closed the door. I immediately went to my group chat. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say he opened your car door? <laughs> High five. No, High five. no, 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 no. Now let me explain, right? Let me explain. By the time we got to the restaurant, my follow-up text was, y'all, that's my bad. I, ain't, I just realized I ain't. and all that stuff we be talking about, we don't really want it. And I mm. felt like he technically did everything that we be saying we be wanting. In my mind, instinctively, my first thought was, he corny. But he really did everything that we want. What you do with that? What you do with a dick? Stuck the dick on the back and make an asshole clap. You ain't never had that. <laughs> you little bristle. I suck the dick off the gristle and make your asshole whistle. The Andy Griffin theme song all night long. Damn, she can get the gristle off it? No way. All right, y'all. Let's see what I got for you today. Out here on the yard, it's a little noisy. Sorry about that. But, uh, you know, sometimes I think about shit out here, so I just want to talk about it sometimes. But anyways, you know, I, I think about how I've formed, like, this gratitude and joy in my life constantly. And, you know, when I was younger, I couldn't figure that out. I was always trying to figure out, like, how to be happy. Or I felt like I was in a world that was too negative to be happy or something like that. I was sort of like... Um, turned off by the idea that I had that as a grown adult I'd have to coach and control my mind and my thinking all day I'm just like dude is this what it's really about but when I stopped taking it as like a burden and thought like wow this is really simple if it's this easy all I gotta do is control my own mind that's easy anyone can do that so you know I had to change the way I thought about it at first I felt like it was like why the fuck's have to be this way and then I realized thank god it is this way it's easy so uh, anyways you know, for me, as I look at my, in my younger years, I realized that every little thing was influencing me to feel good or bad. And typically I was indulging in things that made me feel bad. And one big thing, and it's this, it's this, uh, your mind's this fluid. It's the music. It's even the music. So when I was a kid, I listened to rap music and I made terrible decisions because I thought about, I thought that, that was like real life, you know, like you couldn't disrespect me without me doing something about it. It was like insane. Cause I, cause of the music and stuff. And anyways, when you listen to that sort of music, it just sets the tone, right? Whatever music you're listening to is setting the tone. And, uh, well, those tones aren't typically very great. But now, like, I listen to jazz music and I listen to different, like, oldies and stuff like that that are just so joyful and so fun that you can't have a bad day listening to this fucking music. And it really occurred to me that it's, like, every little thing and it's even the music in the background of your life. So... I'm going to share some links in the description of like playlists I listen to that I really enjoy and uh, different genres of music, I suppose. But um, I'll see what I can put together. I'll put a few different things in there. I haven't really thought about that yet, but I'll uh, put some stuff that I typically listen to in the description. And well, you know, when you're listening to jazz, you're listening to, to music that talks about love and happiness and joy, you feel good. And when you listen to music that talks about, you know, killing the ops and all the rest, I mean... You're thinking about killing ops, <laughs> even if you don't have any. It's like, what are we doing? So uh, I don't know what's up with that. But man, my life changed big time when I started to zero in on these little things that were happening in my life. And, you know, it's the self-talk, it's the music, it's all these little tiny things. And when they all come together, it's a big thing. It's almost happening and you don't even realize it. So I don't know if you, re if you resonate with this message, let me know. What do you think about that? I'm always curious to know what you guys think about it. I'm not a know-it-all. I'm just an asshole with a microphone. I'm just like, you know, saying what I think. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I could be wrong half the time. So let me know what y'all think about that. All right, y'all. Um, I always appreciate you listening in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you would. And we're going to see you on the next one.